All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. This week, we're back on the truck camping trailer build that we've been working on here lately on the channel. Last week, if you didn't see that video, I'll link it here, but last week, we put a different rooftop tent, a different awning, that Benny Hike brand new setup, really cool. This week, we're testing out our old setup. I'm kind of popping them both out, checking them out, and see what's gonna fit this trailer the best and which is gonna fit my truck the best. So as you can tell, it looks completely different than it did last week. We've got the Cray Fuel back on here. We've got our 270 awning mounted up on the new Billy Bars uh, awning rack, and we're gonna pop it out today and try it out. But today's main goal is to install these new drawer slide systems that I got from Iceco. I give you guys a sneak peek on them a couple of weeks back. Today, I wanna get them installed and I almost messed up. I, I started to install these last night and I, I had to remember that I want room in here to be able to haul stuff. Most importantly, my Blackstone griddle. We love that thing. We take it everywhere we go. I've been using it for a couple of years now. And I was installing these drawer slides or figuring them out last night. And, and I forgot completely, hey, I've got to have room to install that. My box that we carry our camping gear in. So today we're going to install these drawer slides in both my truck my truck bed and this truck bed trailer that we're building. So we're gonna have both setups going kind of in both directions. So if I don't wanna pull this trailer with me, like if I camp out of my rooftop tent on back of the truck and I'm pulling my kayak with me, I'll still have the same setup kind of in the bed of my truck. And if I take this up on the mountain and we're camping in the woods somewhere, I'll have that same setup here and in my truck. So we'll be able to use both of them that way. But anyway, that's today's goal. I wanna show you guys these fridge slides. We're gonna figure out how to install them. These things are really cool. And I'm gonna have coupon codes. These are brand new by Iceco and they sent me coupon codes to share with you guys. So that'll be linked below. And we're gonna get them installed. I'm gonna show you how I run my fridge. I've changed my mind about mounting the fridge on the front of the trailer. One the fridge is just too nice. You know, we've been using it for a while and I don't want it exposed to the weather like that. I'm used to running it in behind the seat of my truck. You know, we did that rear seat delete last year in my truck. I think that's where it's gonna stay. So I'm gonna show you how I've got my fridge set up and then we're gonna install these drawer slides. Also, the tailgate is on here. As you can see, I've got my tailgate. It came in yesterday. I put the wrap on, I still haven't decided. I wrapped the whole tailgate I haven't decided if I want to paint the top and the bottom to match like I did the sides. I think I am because it kind of sticks out a little bit too bad. But the back side is what I'm really excited to show you. This is what I've been waiting on for this tailgate. This is actually a brand new one. I don't know if you can see, but the old one is right here. I decided not to go with that one. I ordered a brand new one, but I had some custom work done to it before it got here. I'm going to show you that today, and then we're just going to hop into getting these drawer slides installed. So first I'll show you, if you're not familiar with my truck setup, how I run my fridge, and this is how I think I'm gonna keep it. But this is the fridge I like to run. This is Iceco's APL 55, and I've got it on Iceco's little short fridge slide. And when we did the rear seat delete, as you can see, now this is a Toyota Tacoma, and it fits great back here. I've got a full platform. This is bolted down to the, the fridge slide is actually bolted down to it. I've got a full video on this and I'll link it right here of me installing this, reviewing this APO 55. We've had this fridge for about a year now and this thing is awesome. It's got a really nice LCD screen display. It's got apps where I can work this with my phone. It opens from the end, which is one reason I got this thing, I really like to be able to open it from the end and access it and you can see how nice it is. I mean, it's deep, that divider actually comes out. It's got nice LED lights. It's a dual zone so you can do either side and watch this. That's also one of my favorite parts. It's got a soft close so you never slam the lid. It softly closes itself down. But yeah, this is the APL 55. We absolutely love this thing. We've been using it for I think a year, maybe a little bit more than a year and it's awesome. But another reason I wanted to keep it like this is because a lot of times I'm gonna be camping off the, bed, off the back of my truck and I'm gonna be pulling, you know, when I do kayak camping trips by myself, I'm not gonna have the trailer. So I don't want my fridge to have a dedicated spot on the trailer and me have to kind of move it back and forth. Right here is where this thing likes to live. You know, when we're camping or we know we're gonna go camping, I just leave it in my truck. It stays strapped down to my fridge slide it's out of the way, it locks into place, and I don't have to worry about it. So I don't wanna go back and forth with a trailer. I just, I'm, I'm gonna leave it there, and that also leaves me more room to mount other things on 
the trailer. And yeah. another thing that does is it frees up this tongue space for me to mount. I think what the plan is now, you know, originally last week I told you guys I was gonna mount the fridge slide here to pull it out up under the awning. And I just couldn't bring myself to do that because it's really too nice to just be out. And then I didn't want to get into the point where I was just welding up a full box out here to haul it in. I was gonna, I was gonna go too far with that. I want to keep this as simple as possible. And I think now that frees up this area here. So I'm gonna mount the spare tire right here in the front. That'll give me some more tongue weight, which we, we definitely need. Now that we've got that heavy bumper, I need to add more tongue weight up here. So we're gonna put the spare tire here. I believe we're gonna put our propane tank right in here because when we use that grill, I wanna be under the awning and I wanna be able to run my line to a bigger propane tank so we don't have to always carry those little green ones with us. And then we can put our anchor points, or not our anchor points, our jacks. You know, we've gotta do those four corner leveling jacks on this thing. We're gonna put them here. This is the box off my double jet ski trailer. I've got it in here still. I can't decide if I want to steal it from that trailer and use it on this. Well, I'll figure that out once we get the spare tire, the propane tanks installed then I'll look at either adding this box because I, I want a place to haul and lock up straps and stuff. And I'm thinking that if I've got this box here and we go with those four corner jacks, the ones that you can slide in and pin in, that I can take all four of them off and stick them in here when we're traveling. And then when we get to the campsite, I just pop them out of this box and then we stick them on all four corners. But anyway, that's another reason the fridge is gonna go in the truck. So. I got more space out here and you know we don't risk damaging the refrigerator. Now, let's see if we can figure out how to install these new drawer slides that we got this week. And let me show you the tailgate. So first, let me drop the tailgate of my Tacoma to show you what I'm talking about when I show you this new one. So this is my Billy Bars tailgate cover. I installed this on my tailgate a few years back, when they first come out with these, I was one of the first influencers to get one of these. I did a video for them, and these are absolutely awesome. They cover them in EVA foam, I believe is what it's called. It's the same stuff that is on my kayak trailer. It's the same stuff. It's just basically like marine mat that you put on these boats, and you can get it in multiple colors. That way they can cut into it and reveal the color underneath, and they can do stuff like put logos, like here's their logo kind of etched right into it, or not etched, just kind of cut down into it. But this is a two-tone on my Tacoma. This is the black with the bottom gray. It's got two cup holders. And I've been rocking this for a couple of years now, and I, I'm not easy on it. We've camped out of this. I've hauled engines. You know, that Nissan, I completely rebuilt it over this past winter, and I was going back and forth hauling engine parts and stuff in here. And you see how well it's lasted. And it's dirty right now, but this will actually pressure wash and clean right up. You don't want to get right up on it with a pressure washer, but you can hit it like just washing it normally, and that will clean right up. And here's one of the drawer slides that we're fixing to install, fixing to go over that with you too. But I wanted to show you this tailgate cover because now I'm gonna show you the tailgate we got on this bad boy. Oh yeah, and I also added this strap this morning. See this little piece of web in here? I did that because I wasn't paying attention and I opened this tailgate up and it swung around and it popped the bottom of my bumper and I got super pissed off. So I come over here, plus I wanted it to be able to stay kind of square. So when we're cooking back here at camp, we've got a nice area because this table actually folds down like this. So now we're gonna have an extra little side table right there. This is what y'all wanna see. So let me show you. So here's our new tailgate. Look at that. So this is a custom tailgate cover for my setup. Look how they did it. They put my logo right into there. Now this is not a sticker. This is actually cut right into that foam. This is a two-tone foam, or it's actually a three-tone, I believe. So this thing has got a black bottom as you can see right here. And then it's got this lighter gray and you got this darker gray right in between it. So there's my logo. They've got the Billy Bars logo right into it. Got a couple of cup holders. How cool is that? When we're camping, we're gonna have a perfect place to pull out these new drawers. We're fixing to go over these drawers, but these are cool. They sell these on the Billy Bars website now. This is not just something that they're doing for you know people they know. This is something that you can go on their website 
just go to their website, look up tailgate covers. You can go down there, you can send them your logo. You can pick a logo, you can go with different designs. I seen one on there, the guy had a topographic like topo map cut into his and it looked really, really good. Basically the same way I've got my kayak, you know, my marine mat system on my kayak. But go to billybars.com, you can go to their website, look at these tailgate covers. They sell them for all kind of different trucks. And if they don't have your truck on there, contact them. Like they didn't have this truck because, I mean, this is a 1987 Mazda. And, but I reached out to them and that's why this kind of took a little bit longer for me to get my tailgate. I ordered this tailgate off eBay and instead of having it shipped to me, I just had it shipped straight to Billy Bar so they could figure out, you know, custom make me a tailgate cover for this thing. So now they've got the, the if you've happened to have an 87 Mazda, now they can make you a tailgate cover thanks to me. But the main reason I wanted to go with this tailgate, see how it's nice and smooth and our old one here, had the Mazda, which looks very cool, retro. Like if we would have kept the red, I would have still rocked this one because this is actually not a sticker. It's, it's kind of embossed, embossed, I guess that's what you would call it, but it's dimpled down into it. So I was gonna uh, originally send them this tailgate and have them make my tailgate cover. But I was like, nah, let me just order a new tailgate, have it shipped straight to you and y'all can put me a tailgate cover on it like that, but check that out. Y'all definitely go check these guys out. These are really great on your knees. Like when I got this one over here, I got it because we were camping out of the back of my truck. If you've been following me, you know that I had the camper shell on here and I built the bed system. And when we camped and climbed in and out, this, if you don't, if you don't change this out, it will kill your knees. Like, you know, the plastic ones with the ribs that come on these trucks, they're horrible on your knees. This is super soft. You can climb in and out. It's very durable. This stuff will last forever on here. Got the cup holders built in and it's really perfect. I've been running that thing for a long time. I need to clean this one actually, but go check them out. Billybars.com. I'm going to have it linked in the video description below. These things are freaking awesome. But now you can kind of see what I'm talking about, about the little camp setup. If I had more room in my garage, I could back up and show you, but we're gonna have the little table here set up with our tailgate. We've got this fold down table here. Our awning is the 270, so it's gonna cover over top of us back here. And the grill, you know, I don't think we're gonna grill, but if I, back here, but if I wanted to, I could just set the grill kind of like where I got it now, and then we could rock and roll. Now for the drawer systems that we're going with in this and this over here, as you can see, I kind of, they're not bolted in, but I've got the smaller one right here and I've got their bigger one kind of just sit here. I'm still trying to figure out exactly where I want to put it. I've had a lot of you guys suggest that I go with the deck system, but I'm not gonna do that because it, the deck system takes up a ton of space and you can't fit stuff like your chairs, your big, like if you run a big grill like this or you got a big tote like this, we like to keep all of our camping gear kind of in totes. You can't put it in there with a deck system because we're gonna be running a ton of cover. You gotta remember, we're gonna have a top on top of this. So this will actually fit perfectly up under the top. And it's not just a big drawer. So this is the Ice Co, which one is this? They've got two sizes. Let me show you. This is the DS27 and they've got the DS15, which is the one I'm gonna show you over my Tacoma in just a minute. Here is the little package system. We ain't even opened it up yet. This is all the hardware to mount it where you want it or you can lock them together. This one, since we're not gonna be locking them together, we're just gonna bolt this one straight to the floor in here, but it's not made out of aluminum. This is steel, but it's zinc anodized steel. So it's made to be outside, it's never gonna rust on you. And this thing is solid as a freaking rock. It's carpeted on the top. If I can show you right there. And then they got the carpeted front. The bigger one, this 27 series, has actually got a lock system. So we'll be able to lock it up. That's another reason that I wanted this one over here. And see how it doesn't take up my whole bed. So now I'm gonna have this area to put our grill, to put our totes and stuff like that, and still have a nice lockable drawer system over here. But this is not just a drawer. So this is designed to be a drawer system, but if you shut it, you can pull up this little handle and check this out. It's also a fridge slide. So I'm not gonna be using this as a fridge slide because I'm, you know, I obviously don't have the room. I've got a rooftop tent right above it. So this is gonna get used as a pull out table. We're gonna use it, you know, to set our ice maker or fr you know, we got an air fryer we like to take care of, take with us. We can set up here and slide it out and it doesn't take up any space on the tailgate. That is gonna be perfect for that. And you can tell how solid these are just by 
shutting them and, and just kind of feeling them. I mean, that's, that's solid as a rock right there. I like that. But yeah, that is the 20, what did I say that was? The 27, the Iceco DS27. Let me show you the DS15. The 15 is the one we're gonna put over here. And I think I'm gonna put it right, right around, right there where it's at, because that still frees me up over here where I can run my rifle box on this side with no problem. And then this can go right here, but this is the same thing. It just does not have a lock. You got the bottom handle, you got a little shallow drawer that pulls out, got your mounting hardware in here. And it, you, like I said, it also comes with the stuff that you can mount these side by side if you wanted to, kind of hook them together. But we're not gonna do that. But this one shuts, and this one also has the fridge slide on the top. So if I can show you the side, check that out. All anodized metal. It's got your tie down straps in the top, carpeted, and the carpet matches really well. I mean, my, my carpet is pretty dirty right here, but I've got that same kind of carpet on that bed rug system that matches that. And this carpet matches pretty good over here too. Check that out. The lighting is not great, but I think this may be a little bit darker. That looks really good. So if the systems like the deck systems are too big for what you're looking for, or if you're just looking for a smaller one, these work great in the back of like SUVs, Toyota 4Runners, Land Rovers, you know, where you got that big hatch and you can actually put these side by side. You could put the little one beside it and mount your fridge to the top of it and then have a pull out stove with two drawers. Uh, they're really cool. It's a really cool design and I like how they're compact. If you're interested in getting some of these or that APL 55 fridge, I'm gonna have a link in the video description below, click it, go to Iceco, and then use my promo code that's in the video description, and it will save you, I think, 12% off your total purchase. So you can get the fridge, you can get the drawer slides, you can get one, or you can buy them in a pair and get them all at once. But I like it a lot. Y'all go check out that link if you're interested in these. All right, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I just bolted it straight down to the floor that we put in here. I'm really glad I, I put that wooden floor in here for bolting stuff like this down. So I got it screwed down solid. Now we got our slide top that comes out. We got our drawer that comes out. And I forgot to mention these lock into place. So if you pull them all the way, they'll snap and then they, they lock themselves in. You gotta kind of bump them and then get them going to push them back in. But I went ahead and threw some gear in here. Uh, you know, I'm trying to level everything out so that I know that once we add the Tana cover, I've got it ordered, it should be here this week, that I'm not gonna be up too tall. So right now I'm just trying to figure out which totes I can use. Like this is one of those Plano Sportsman boxes that I like to use. And I think it's gonna be just tall enough or just low enough for me to be able to use these boxes and slide them in. I've got our little gazebo there. Now. Let's go to the backyard. I want to get this outside because I can't open all this up in my garage. And let's set this up with this 270. I told you guys I'd show you what it'd be like with the 270, and I've been wanting to try it. One thing I'm noticing though, now that I've got this weight in here, and I'll, you'll get to see more when we get outside with it, this weight is definitely pushing down on this bed because this isn't a four-wheel drive truck bed. This is from a two-wheel drive Mazda B2600, I believe. So the springs are, they're not that great. And in order to lift it, I'm either gonna have to add some helper springs or do an axle flip. I really don't wanna do the axle flip because that's gonna be, I think, too much of a lift. I don't wanna go too tall. I like being able to reach everything. But at the same time, like I've got the awning here, once we get it to our spot, and you know, I definitely gotta add the uh, stabilization jacks. Right now you can't see it but I've got two of my jack stands under the frame in here just to keep it solid. If they weren't there, I'd be able to twist this trailer back and forth with no problem, but that's next on the list. That'll be next week probably once we figure out exactly how I'm gonna weld up the locations for those. But today, I wanna get out there, get this thing set up. We we'll just have to deal with the wobble for now because we don't have any stabilizer you know, jacks in the corners, but let's, let's hook this up to the truck, pull it out in the woods, set it all up like we're camping, open up the thing, try the drawer out. I'm not gonna take the grill with me. I was gonna load it in there, but y'all get the gist. I ain't going out there to set up the cook today. I'm just gonna set it up to see if I like this tent with the 270 awning better, if it's easier to use than the, uh, that Benny hike system that you guys seen last week. So let's get out to the backyard.
You see what I mean about it being squatted down kind of low? I've, I've definitely got to figure out a maybe a lift system after we add every all the weight. You know, we're going to have water, power, you know, a big battery and stuff on here. So there's going to be more weight added to this. And I think we're going to end up having to put some sort of a lift kit or helper springs or something like that. If you deal with these old Mazda trucks and you know how to lift these two wheel drives, let me know in the comments. Let me, if you got any suggestions, hit me up in the comments. But over the next couple of weeks, I am, like I mentioned earlier, going to add those four corner jacks to level it up because I'm not going to attempt to level this trailer today. Last week, I, I tried my hardest to get it level and I still couldn't do it because I live on a mountain and there's just no way to level these in my backyard. Once we have those four corner jacks, we'll be able to jack up all four corners, get it perfectly level and stable. Right now, it's not gonna be stable at all. And you're gonna see in just a minute, I mean, it's a truck bed. I mean, it's the, it's the back end of a truck. It's not supposed to be stable. It's supposed to be, you know, be able to absorb bumps and stuff like that. And I don't wanna stiffen it so that I can't go off-roading. You know, I'm not gonna take it off-roading, but stuff like this, driving around in the woods, I still wanna have that free flex back there so that it kind of protects your gear and, and you know protects your truck too. You don't wanna pull something stiff through the woods, but let me get this thing set up and then I'll walk you guys around it. We'll try out this new drawer system today. But after this video, I want you to let me know below. If you watched last week's video, which tent setup you prefer? Do you prefer the straight up Benny Hike tent with the really super lightweight Benny Hike awning or this heavy, heavy, heavy 270? Now the, the pros for this 270, you're gonna see in a minute, it's a 270 awning. We're gonna get a ton of coverage. It takes longer to set up and it's really heavy, but we're gonna get a ton of coverage and it has like a built-in light system and the uh, tent, this is the Cray Fuel that I reviewed a while back. If you didn't see that, I'll link that video right here. But this is a really nice tent. It's bigger, it's wider, it's about eight inches wider than the Benny Hike, but it's not gonna set up the same as the Benny Hike. So anyway, let's check out this setup and then you guys vote below which setup you would like the best. Or if you'd like me to mix them up a little bit, maybe you like the Benny Hike tent with the 270 or the Cray Fuel with the hard shell lightweight awning. Y'all just let me know in the comments after this video. Let me get this thing set up for you. And I know the lighting right now is probably horrible. The sun is setting right over there, so it's gonna be cutting through the trees, throwing all kinds of shadows, but it is what it is. We're gonna pop this thing open and try it out. This one opens, if you didn't see the video, you know, the Benny Hike last week, it goes straight up. And then I've reviewed those that open kind of like a clamshell the long way this cray fuel opens this way. So we're gonna get in it on this side of the truck. So it opens like that. You pull this bad boy out right here. And heck, I might not even need the ladder with this setup like this. So then you got your little telescoping poles. That goes like that. Just like that, the little shoe bags fold right out. I do like the size of this on the inside. I'll pull you guys in a, in a minute. Let me tighten up the top. Ugh. But I'm sure you guys can see how much this bed is shifting around with just me climbing around in here. So we'll tighten that. Heck, I don't think we'll need the ladder. I brought the ladder, but that's pretty sick right there. So as you can tell, the tent is much bigger. Let me grab y'all. So the tent is a whole lot bigger. And I kind of like how wide this opening is on the side. But as you can tell, I mean, we can set the ladder up. Like I'm sure my wife will be happy to have at least one or two steps to get in, but this tent is a lot bigger. Had a lot of people in the comments though not like this tent for one reason. First off, the mattress is amazing. It's double layered, so you got a thick foam, then a thinner foam, then you got your wick mat. But this is why a lot of people had negative comments about this. This tent does not have a hard aluminum floor. This is like a weatherproofing material. And under this tent are just the slats. Let's see if I can show you. See the slats going down through there? So there's no aluminum floor on this cray fuel, but I don't know, we're gonna try it out. I haven't gotten a chance, oh, sorry about that. I hadn't got a chance to test this tent out, like actually go sleep in it, but 
that's coming up very soon because this is going to stay on here until we test this one out. But I think it's going to be fine without the solid floor. Now, let me see if I can set y'all up where the light's not horrible. See how this 270, now I do know since we're not jacked up and level, this 270 is going to be way too low you know, up here by the thing. So keep in mind, it's not gonna be like that when we're done building this, we will have the jack stand so we can bring this thing up to the right height where you want this inside one to be just above your head or, you know, maybe five or six inches above your head at least. That wind is starting to blow too, guys. So I apologize if the audio is horrible. Another downfall about this 270 is it is a bag versus that mini hike, there's no bag at all to worry about. And I hadn't opened this 270 in a while. And when you go to order your 270, if you, if you buy one of these, and this is the one that I found on Amazon. So if you go to buy one, be sure they've got two different kinds. They've got one that opens to the driver's side and they got one that opens to the passenger side. I kind of wish that, not well, I mean, I like this setup, but I kind of wish that I would have got the one that opens the other, I think this is the driver's side. No, this is the passenger side open. I kind of wish I'd have got the driver's side because of that tailgate that we added here, that, that bumper with a swing out, it would have swung out the opposite way. Either, that, either we'd have got the other one of this or the other one of the bumper. So I'm just gonna pull this around here. I'm gonna tie it off right here just long enough to get the rest of it set up. And I hadn't set this tent up, in a, I mean this awning up in a minute, so I might have to remember how to do this. And we'll pull out this side. All right, I'm gonna start dropping the legs down. This 270 may take a little longer to set up, but when it's set up, man, it is nice. Anyway, like I was saying, this is an Amazon find. So I actually found this 270 awning on Amazon whenever I bought that Nature Nest rooftop tent. All right, I got all the legs up. I may need to run up there and get a power pack because I'd like for y'all to see the, the lights that are up under this thing. It's a little bit, it's not really dark enough to show them right now, but if it gets darker here in a minute, I'll go get a battery pack. The cool thing about once we add power to this trailer is that we'll have onboard power with, and I'm gonna have a little box on each side with uh, hookups for DC power so we can plug up lights and stuff like that without having to tote around a little battery pack to do that. But so let me move y'all over here. Let's see how well this tailgate's gonna work out for us. I do really, really like this 270 awning. We definitely need it up higher. I've got it on the highest setting on the Billy Bar uh, awning mount. I can't really go any higher there, but once we get the stabilizer jacks, I think we'll go up pretty high. I'm standing flat footed here, but I've got the ends a little bit raised up higher than the, the backside. Let's open up this tailgate. So essentially this is where we'll be doing meal prep. We got the awning above us. Right here, we got a drawer. How cool is this? And I did bring the ladder. I've got it strapped to the top of this, which I don't think I need to set the ladder up. That drawer slide is gonna be so, so nice to have. We'll be able to put so much gear in there. Let me drop this table right here down. Ah, oh, heck, I'll put the ladder up. I had the ladder strapped to our little top slide out right there. 
I'm gonna love this drawer. Look how easy this thing opens. And I'll show you the inside. I put some of our camping stuff in it, but it locks right back shut. You know, even if we don't wanna use this ladder, I could probably build me like just a little step stool to go right here to keep in the bed so that we could just use the step stool to get up and down. I don't think we would need the ladder, but I'm sure my wife's gonna want the ladder just to be safe. But heck, we could just set it like this. That's better than nothing there. That cray fuel looks so much bigger on here, doesn't it? If you compare it to how the setup looked last week, I don't know if it's just the size of the door of getting in and out or what. Let's see what it looks like with the door shut. I don't have the lights hooked up in here, but man, this is a big, big tent. I love how low it is. I don't know why I like that so much, but I love how I don't, you know, I could just hop up in here. This, I haven't even shut this thing. This thing's got YKK zippers. This is a nice tent. That's what it looks like shut. That's a cool shot, I like it. All right, so that's the tent. Let's see if you guys can see the awning set up. And it's really not dark enough for me to hook these lights up, but I'll show you. So each one of these runs has a built-in LED light with its own little power button. So you can literally light up all the way up under this awning from uh, every pole's got a light. So all the way around, you just hook, hook them up to power, turn them on, and you don't have to turn them on at the same time. They each have their own button. And it's saggy right now, because like I said, it's not completely set up. Man, I really like this awning. I know it's a lot heavier, but it covers so much more area so you could set our chairs up under here. We got a place to mount stuff. If we wanted to mount, I mean, we wanted to just get crazy and mount a little TV to our little billy bars. Molly panel right there, we could do it. <laughs> All right, so now when we're cooking or pre prepping our food, we got this nice table here, this billy bar tailgate cover. We got this little side table here. Now, if we didn't want to take the big Blackstone. I do have this little guy right here. And I always open it upside down, no matter what. But we could always, you know, cook on that right there. Have this whole area for prepping over here. And I might even get me a cutting block to put on top of this, to pull this out and have us a little cutting block right here for cutting up food. So it'd just be a quick pull out and it's locked into place right now. So you, you kind of bump it, lock it back down. Here's our drawer. They roll so good. So the insides of this are big old bearings and they roll so smooth. I mean, that is crystal. That is super smooth. So when you pull out, it locks. So now it's locked into place and you got to really push it to get it to go. But right now I just threw a bunch of our camping gear in here that I had in my tote. Nothing's really organized at all right now but it's just low enough so that we can run our tonneau cover. And I think that Plano is gonna fit just over the top of it. This is a gazebo that I've got. I've got some chairs and stuff thrown up here, but my plan is on the other end down here is where we're gonna do all the power stuff. So we don't have to get to it as often. So it's gonna be under the tonneau cover on this end. We're probably gonna run a Dakota lithium battery set up. I've got my solar panels set up. I'll wire all of that there and on each side of this truck, somewhere around these molly panels, I'm gonna put us a power box. So over there we'll have power to hook up to for charging phones or cooking stuff or whatever we need power for. We'll have it on both sides of the trailer coming off that battery pack that we're gonna have in there. What do y'all think about this setup? I like it. 
And the thing about the fridge is, you know, I could have the fridge included like we planned on originally, but I'm always gonna have my truck with me. And I had already built this out for my fridge. So, you know, walking over here to get something out of the fridge is not the end of the day. <laughs> you just walk over here, pull the latch up, pull the fridge out and get in it. I ain't even got it turned on anymore, do I? And that's all you gotta do to get to the fridge. That's, that's why I think that adding it is just wasting space on the trailer build, to be honest. I know a lot of y'all wanted to see the fridge, you know, kind of included and me fab up that little slide at the front, but I think it'd just be a waste of space. Uh, it's gonna be, you know, in the back of the truck and that'll, that'll clear us up a lot of weight and a lot of space off this trailer so we can get the propane tanks. I'm not sure where now I want to cook on the grill, the Blackstone. If we cook back here, cause you don't really want it to be under the awning, but if I did set it up kind of like I had it in the garage earlier, if we set up the Blackstone like right here and I could, I could always run me some line and put me some hookup points for the propane, you know, at any corner of this trailer and just have my line so that I can just hook my grill up at any point and still run those propane tanks or bottles at the front. And we could just do all the cooking right back here, which may end up how we do it. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Which setup do you like the best? I know which one I like the best out of the two, out of the one from last week and this setup. I love these Billy Bars. I really, I love the low profileness of them. I love being able to just hop in and out. If I'm taking this out by myself, which a lot of the times, you know, I probably will be camping solo with this setup. I'm not even gonna use the ladder. I'll just leave the ladder either at home or in the trailer and I can just step up on the tire and climb right into this setup. It goes up and down really fast. If you haven't seen the review of this Cray Fuel, be sure to go check that out if you like this tent. I really do like this tent. A lot of people, you know, were very hesitant about this tent, like I mentioned, because they're, this is the only tent that I have ever reviewed that does not have a solid aluminum floor. It just, it, it was, it blew my mind, to be honest, when I unboxed it and I noticed that it didn't have a solid floor, but they make up for it with the mattress and the, and the bars across. I think it's a whole lot more sturdy because, you know, with a solid floor, it's just a big, solid, thin sheet of aluminum. Yes, that protects, you know, the floor from getting stuff up in it, but this has a weatherproofing material already on it and it's got slats like every, I'm gonna say every six inches on center, there's a solid aluminum square bar going across and it's all the way down. So this may be more sturdy than you actually think, you know, compared to those other ones. But anyway, check that out if you're interested in it. Let me know what you think about these Iceco drawer slides. And don't forget, if you're interested in them, these things can be used for anything, guys. Like if you're thinking of a way to, you could use this, let me know in the comments below. Share your thoughts of how you would use this drawer system on your vehicle. I know there's a lot of pictures on the website already of guys using these in the backs of their, like I mentioned, their Land Rovers and their Forerunners and stuff, their Jeeps, you know, they're putting side by side with the, the fridge on top of the smaller one. These things are really cool. If you do end up wanting to buy you one, be sure you use that link and that promo code so you can save you some money at checkout. Check out the Billy Bars tailgate covers. If you go there and you design one for yourself, tag Kayak USA in it on Instagram. I'd love to see your design, your logo, what you come up with, because whatever you send them, they can put on the tailgate. And they've got a lot of examples on there already, so you can go to their website and go to the tailgate covers section and check them out. But I absolutely love these tailgate co covers. I've loved them ever since they come out with them. These things are great. So that over the next week or two, I'm going to, I don't know how much more content I'm gonna film out of this as I'm building it out, I may just, finish doing a lot of this stuff and then make one final video where we're out camping with it and testing it out with all of the stuff with it because I don't want to keep ringing it out. I got some kayak stuff. I know I haven't done a kayak video in about a month now, but I've got some kayak stuff that I do want to film for you guys and some live scope stuff that I want to film for you guys. So y'all look for that to come up. This you'll see again, but it's going to be a few weeks when you see it and hopefully it's going to be completely done and we're taking it out somewhere using it. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go to my homepage if you've never been there before. Check out my other videos. I've done builds similar to this in the past. You might like those build series that I've got going there. If you want to support the channel, you can click that join button, become a member of Kayak USA. We got a great group of followers there. It's five bucks a month. 
It just supports me and helps me film this content for you guys. And I upload every Monday at six, guys. So I will catch you guys next Monday at six o'clock. Peace.